Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, expressroofing.net, Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea, Luxury Pet Services in Richmond, Time Warner Cable, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Madison County Schools, Tatum Enterprises, and Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Welcome to the Coach Center Show. Hi, I'm Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the Coach Mark Center Show. We look forward to seeing you on Madison County School Sports Television. Mark Center Show from the Jack Burford Chevrolet Studios in Richmond, Kentucky. Now with your host, Samantha Burford. Welcome to the Coach Center Show. I'm Samantha Burford. We're here with Coach Centers and we are taking over the Jack Burford Chevrolet Customer Service Lounge because we're going to talk to Coach Centers and some of his players today. Coach, it's a tough loss. Yeah. This is two in a row, too. Yeah, we're, we are certainly in a different spot uh, as we come in here to film tonight than we were a couple weeks ago. But, uh, th you know, I'm happy to report we had a pretty good practice today. And hopefully we're back on track now uh, and ready to get going forward again. Yeah. When I interviewed you at halftime, your blood pressure was up. You could tell <laughs> you were angry. You were focused. Yeah. Dr. Shaw would probably not have been happy with my medical stats at the time. Yes. Um, there was a lot of, um, I mean, the guys were talking to each other and, you know, they were encouraging one another. Tell us your thoughts on what you said to me and then going into halftime, what you said to them to try to regain confidence in the second half of this ball game. Well, as, as bad as I hate to admit this, I absolutely have no idea what I said to you. And if it was <laughs> ugly, I apologize. You weren't. You uh, weren't. It, it, but, uh, you know, just, just from an overall perspective, you know, uh, I can I can umbrella the 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 a lot better than I can say specifics uh, because bottom line, uh, obviously we were very disappointed with the way that that the the entire game approached. Um, leadership a lot of times is more than words. Leadership has to be action. Uh, there are those that lead very well through words, uh, but more times than not, leadership has to come through action and. And, you know, we just never answered the bell against Lexington Catholic. And, and quite frankly, we just, we just since, uh, you know, since, since the Davis kid went wild on us in the third quarter at Bryan Station, uh, you, you know, on the field, we've, our kids have almost been in quicksand. And, and so, you know, we're trying to find a way to help them find their way through. Uh, we are not nearly uh, as poor a football team as what, uh, the the last few quarters have shown, and and again, uh, very happy to report that today's practice was mm -hmm. very good. I feel like we had a very good practice today, and I feel like we are on, on track with getting back. You know, and and uh, you know, if anybody read the paper, that uh, you, you know, uh, something I don't know exactly what the paper said, but I know what I told Nathan after the game. Uh, you know, and that was the that that the, I take full responsibility for how for how our team played, 100% mm -hmm. uh, full responsibility for how our team played because, unfortunately, you know, w with what happens with young people too many times, uh, what happens with all of us from time to time is is we just get off track of what we need to be doing. Uh, we uh, we a a as a team over the course of the few weeks. Uh, there's some issues that have been plaguing us. You know, fumbles have been plaguing us this year. Mm -hmm. And while things were going really well, the first few games, first three games were winning, and and those things perhaps got glossed over. 
uh, you know, maybe not so much in the side of us coaches, but but you know, in the side of of the kids, perhaps think, well, we got away with that, and, mm -hmm. and not that they actively thought, well, we got away with fumbling the ball three times, but it's easy to not think about the three fumbles or the negative plays when mm -hmm. you win, and of course those things get magnified enormously when you lose. Yeah. So you know, it's just kind of all part of of how it goes, and so. Uh, I allowed far too many distractions to come into play with our team. Uh, I allowed far too many uh, non uh, th things that do not win football games. I allowed to become uh, issues on our team, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I feel like we're past that. I, you know, we've made no mis no uh, we have not hid the fact that well, this is a process, mm -hmm. and, and this is a growing process. We got out of the gate very fast this season, got three wins put on the board, and it was a great feel-good thing. Uh, it, it was wonderful while it lasted, but now it's gone, mm -hmm. and we've got to get back, and we've got to fix those things if we expect to press forward. Uh, we still believe that this team has tremendous potential to be a very, very good football team uh, and, and, and even do some things perhaps that, that some no other central teams have done. I mean, mm -hmm. they, we've still got a lot of season in front of us. Uh, and we're three and two, you know, despite the fact that we've played horribly bad. We're still sitting here with a winning record right now. Mm -hmm. We're three and two going into uh, Woodford County, a uh, very tough Woodford County team on the road that we're going to have to play well to come out with a win. But, uh, you know, if we're fortunate enough to come out with a win, uh, you know, we can finish the, the first season, uh, so to speak, at four and two. Mm -hmm. And that's a good spot to be in headed into the second season, which is district play and where we're going to line out our, our uh, playoff seating and things like that and hopefully finish the season strong in preparation of the third season, which is the real season, the right. playoffs. Which everything starts all over. Absolutely. I agree with you. It seems like the last six quarters, seems like it's been a different team. Mm -hmm. Been yeah. on our heels. We, yeah. we, we've been on our heels. Uh, we haven't played as aggressive or attacking uh, on, the, on any phase of the game. Um, you know, we, And there were two tough, challenging teams to play. Sure. We're not talking, yeah. you don't have a cakewalk of a schedule. Right. Well, and that's true, but we don't want one. Right. Uh, we we can't if we're going to build the program to the point of, of of being a true championship competitor. We you know mm -hmm. I don't know why anybody would want to play less than a challenging schedule. We we have to play challenging mm -hmm. schedule week after week to get us ready because again everything that we're trying to do schedule wise, everything that we're trying to do within the concept in the, of the regular season is to get ready for the playoffs mm -hmm. because you know a lot of teams have really good regular season records and then they get to the playoffs and they flounder. Uh, you know championships are won in the postseason and that's what we've got to be ready for mm -hmm. and I feel like by the time the postseason gets here we will be a fairly battle tested team. Uh, and then you know we, we just have to get back to what we talked to the kids about uh, steadily ever since the end of the game Friday night is we get back to the mentality of getting just a little bit better every day and making sure we don't have to get we don't have to do it all at once we, we you don't have to, to to dig out of the hole all at once but we have to make sure that we're making progress uh, to, to get a little bit better every day every practice every every film session everything that we do continuous improvement we got to get a little bit better and a little bit better and we will all right this is a two-part question you mentioned a second ago that you had some distractions. Right. Could one of those be because it was homecoming? And a lot of people want to know, why would you schedule Lexington Catholic on a homecoming night? Well, you know, as far as the schedule part goes, it just is what it is. That's mm -hmm. how this. That's how the Did schedule. Did you schedule that? Did someone schedule else fell. schedule it? How does that happen? We, we get we make out the schedule, and then you kind of start looking at windows for certain things. Mm -hmm. Like like for instance, you you take a window. You know, the, when when Coach Fritz came to me and said, you know, we need to start looking at what our homecoming is going to be for this year. You know, we looked at the home games that were available, and the home games that were the the September home game was Lexington Catholic, and then the next home game we've got is Lafayette. Well, you know, I, I, mid-October is pretty late for a homecoming, and I certainly didn't want those distractions during a district game. Right. So I elected to go with Lexington County. Right. And, okay. And, and, and so, you know, and, and again, that, that was part of a greater process other than me, but I appreciate the fact that my administration comes to me and says, hey, mm -hmm. this is what we're looking at. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Because I know there are other schools out there where they just say, it's this one. And really? it, it's done. So. You know, I appreciate the fact that my guys came to me and said, "Hey, coach, what do you want? This is what we're looking at here, here, and, and let's go with it." And, mm -hmm. and you know, hey, if if you're looking for a bunny to play on homecoming, you're Which not. Most 
places well, are. You're not going to find it in 6A football, and you're not going to find it at Madison Central. Right. It, it's not going to happen. So, right. so you know, it, it's just, um, you know. You know, a lot of parents, that's what they're used to. That's what they grew up with mm. that's what usually typically happens so. yeah yeah it, it, it they're, they're they're not, not they well unfortunately no i mean <laughs> it, it, there 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 are not too many there there are not too many games on the schedule where you look at it and, and you can just automatically circle it as a win no mm -hmm. matter what and and it, you know it's a particularly difficult schedule because you know again we're a 6a school that that has had some tradition that has had some success and and that i think uh, around the state I, I believe that people are starting to see us as a team that's up and coming, and so you know while you know we don't we certainly don't have any of the big boys running from us yet, we uh, we also you know have a, a very uh, difficult time in, in finding teams to play, you mm -hmm. know, and and there's a lot of things that go into scheduling from from travel to you know just just trying to make sure the matchups are good and all those things uh, mm -hmm. are part of the deal and it's not just a one year commitment it's a, it's a two year contract and you know and, and and so you know those things like like I say they they just cycle and mm -hmm. and it's just part of the overall scheduling thing and and you know if, if I've got an opportunity to not have homecoming on a district game I'm going to take that opportunity okay. without a district game every time answer it, the question it may it. not it may not work out that way you know there may right. be a year where we have to do a homecoming game on a district game but if i have the choice uh, i don't want a district opponent but for the reasons we talked about and i'm mm -hmm. not going to put i'm not going to put the way we played on homecoming that would be wrong because again uh, you know i told our kids that you know homecoming is a responsibility that we have to be able to handle uh, it's important to our community for our kids to be seen in the homecoming mm -hmm. parade it's important for our school for the football team to be mm -hmm. a part of the homecoming festivities uh, it, it's part of promoting and 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 being a positive part of the program. There are little kids that were on that parade route that want to grow up to play football for Madison mm -hmm. Central. They need to see our kids behaving and acting right in mm -hmm. the whole thing. So you know, if we can't go be in a dead gun parade on Thursday night and go win the game on Friday night, then we've got bigger problems than mm -hmm. we can handle. So you know, so homecoming wasn't one of your distractions. I, I'm not going to put it on there. I mean, I, I'll just all I'm saying is is that there was a lot of distraction that keep that crept in, uh, in the prior two week period, and we feel like that we've done a good job of handling that. Okay. We we hope we've done a good job of handling that. Right. Uh, but uh, one way or the other, it'll be handled, and we'll move on. Do you think that Lexington and Catholic gave you any type of? Um, plays, anything that they did Friday night during the game that you guys weren't prepared for? They did exactly what our scouting report said. Okay. They, they did it they, offensively, defensively. They did exactly what our scouting report said they would do. They just executed it at a much higher level than what we did. Mm -hmm. and, and they didn't turn the football over, and we did. We turned the football over in key times. We made mistakes in key times, and, and things snowballed very quickly. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about at the beginning of the game. I mean, it ended up being Landon White. Landon. No, Landon. Landon. Mm -hmm. Landon. I got his name wrong at the beginning. Sorry about that. He, you know, had a field goal that was blocked. So mm -hmm. the game started out that way. But he ended up being our player of the game. So we got to give him some kudos for that. Well, he, he's doing a really good job, and, and you know, that – uh, the block field goal was not his fault. We uh, they they rushed an extra man to the wide side of the field, and uh, and our uh, our protection did not adjust, and it gave them a short edge. And the guy did a really nice job of timing it up. Again, you know, a lot of the things that you have to say about the the game Friday night is that that Lexington Catholic did an outstanding job of execution. One of the things that they executed the best was a fourth and ten play when they uh, were up seven, and uh, we had given them the ball on a short field and our defense did a phenomenal job on first, second, and third down of holding them. They actually lost yardage and were backed up and it was uh, it was fourth and 12 or so, fourth and 12, fourth and 15 or so. Uh, they don't have a Landon White on their team so it was too far for them to kick a field goal uh, and it was too close for them to punt. So they were running a little uh, reverse pass uh, mm -hmm. with the Thompson kid who's a phenomenal athlete. Actually the, is, is one of the, the guys that they can put in as a quarterback. Uh, and. Uh, they, they toss it to him on a reverse, and then he stops plants and cuts back and throws it back to the quarterback. A well-executed trick play at the exact mm -hmm. time that, that you want to pull something like that out. It leads to them scoring a touchdown quickly, and, and now uh, our mistakes have combined to a 14-point hole. But even at that point, 
uh, even at the point where I called the timeout and called all the kids over. You, know, we're, you called an entire team huddle. Yeah, yeah, because we Which need, seems unusual. Yeah, it probably is, but, but but it was an unusual time. Okay. So, you know, so, but, you know, the, the, the we needed to, I, I, I felt like we were not competing. And to be quite honest with you, I felt like after that we did not compete. Uh, so, you know, whatever I said must not work, but, but it was, <laughs> Uh, it was just one I'm of those not things. laughing at you, yeah, but that yeah. was kind of funny. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's the truth. And, yeah. And, and so, you know, I just felt like, you know, I felt like we weren't competing, and you know, we needed we needed to address that immediately. Right. And so, but even at the point that we were down 21, and that's when I, I finally said, okay, enough. Uh, I still didn't feel like we were out of that ball game. You uh, did because I knew that we were just a few steps away from really getting things clicking. And mm -hmm. if we could just stop making the mistakes that were killing ourselves in crucial times, we knew we could score points on them. And, and you know, that's, that's no disrespect to Lexington Catholic whatsoever. The yeah, kids played phenomenal team. and they shut us out. They, they, that's, they put an egg on the board and, and which uh, is the first time that's happened first, since 2012. First time in a long time. So mm -hmm. okay, first time in a long time for central, uh, I can't tell you when the last time one of my teams has been shut out. I, I'm, I'm sure it's out there somewhere, but I, I can't remember the last time one of my teams were shut out. So uh, I can easily remember it now. Yeah. But uh, but you know, again, uh, I just we and, and we moved the ball well at times. Lawrence over there did a great job in some screen game uh, the, as far as moving the ball. Uh, you know, there were there were the, we we were right on the verge of getting some drives going, and we would just commit offensive suicide. Yeah. Uh, for lack of a better term, I right. mean, we we would. Jump. If it could have gone wrong, it seems like it did. We would jump off sides at a bad time. Mm -hmm. We would fumble, uh, uh, which is never a time uh, appropriate time to fumble. We, you know, something would happen and it just, you know, and it really snowballed. But again, you know, it is what it is. Congratulations, Lexington Catholic. We're gonna, uh, we, we're we're gonna get back on the horse and go yeah. because that's the only thing we can do. Uh, and and uh, again, like I said earlier, uh, good day of practice today. We need a great day of practice tomorrow and get ready for this Woodford County team because they're off the right. A uh, scary situation in the first quarter with Zach Harden mm -hmm. going down. Everybody got a little nervous. Everybody started running that direction. Yeah. But he's okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. Got a little got a little shook up there. Uh, and and uh, he just uh, probably probably held the ball a tick too long. Probably the ball should have been gone. Uh, he steps up into the into the pocket to try to, to run and the and the protection breaks down around him and uh, he got twisted up in the pile a little bit, but uh, he's a tough kid mm -hmm. and got up and, and, and shook it off and came right back uh, the next series. And, uh, and you know, it's, uh, uh, again, he's he's going to be fine. He, yeah. he, he's a tough kid. and, and Who did uh, you move into it. the quarterback position? Edwards came in. Okay. E Edwards came in and, and took the snaps for the rest of that drive. And uh, I guess there were two more plays before we lined up for the field goal. And, uh, and and did a fine job. Right. You know, Ken's very prepared. Uh, you know, if 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 and when the time comes that we he's need ready. to put him in, he's ready to go. Uh, what year is he? He's a sophomore. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and did did a fine job, and, and he's ready to go. But Zach did a, you know, Zach did a very good job of getting back in there. You know, and and, and I truly think you know he won a lot of respect from some of his teammates too because, you know, he he, he just he said okay, I'm ready. And, and, and he went goes. right back in. Yeah, a lot of people, it was a scary moment there for a little while. Oh, and yeah. then in the second quarter, we did have a very scary moment with Gross. Oh, Blake. Yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, we've lost Blake for the year. Uh, it's an ACL injury with some uh, meniscus situation there. He's going to have surgery on Friday morning, and, of course, we pray for them and wish him the best on that. Uh, he is such a strong young man and such a strong leader. Uh, there's been two or three times where he's actually been the one telling us coaches that everything's going to be okay, uh, and, and instead of us, yeah. uh, instead of us, you know, trying to trying to console him, he's about halfway consoling us. But uh, you know, he's he's a great leader. He's a, he, he, you know was at practice today, you know, helping helping keep the guys going and lead and and uh, you know hopefully everything will go well for him and his yeah. rehab and his rehab will go very quickly and. And uh, who knows, he may even have a shot if things go well to, of getting on the baseball field late next season. So Fingers you know, we'll, crossed. Ho hopefully good things will go for him. Yeah, truly, let's hope. And uh, for those of you that need to know a little bit more about Blake, he was on our show, I mm -hmm. guess, last week. So yeah. you can always go back and check that out on all the social media and YouTube. So Fantastic yeah, young get man. to know him a little more. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, and then of course in the second half we had another 
Or I guess really at halftime, mm -hmm. had a scary moment when you guys came back out on the field. Yeah, yeah, Keenan went down on us there at half and, and had some concerns about him, but uh, so they went to got him checked out. But uh, great news on him, he's got a, a clean bill of health and, and was at practice today and, and, and had, a, had a good practice. So uh, he should be good to go uh, at least in, in some capacity Friday night. You know, we'll be cautious with him as, as we try to be with all of our young No men. concussion but, or uh, anything no, like that, no, so that's no, great No news. issue, he's, he's, all, he's all good to go. Yeah, and then there was no issue, no worry of concern, uh, concern or concussion at the time. It was just, uh, you know, just some, some issues, maybe yeah. with some hydration stuff. But they got him checked out and everything's great. good. It's great news. So, yeah, you probably don't need your doctor there, you know, at, at your ball games with your blood pressure all up. Mm -hmm. That was that yeah. was very stressful, this yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, probably not a good thing. I'm glad I lost this weight. Now, you know, I might have exploded. <laughs> They'd had the ambulance over there yeah, for you. Yeah, well, you know, the, there had been more than one person tell me that I was going to end up dying on the sideline. So it, they, it'll be fine. Coach Kirk, Coach Miller, and Jones will take over. They can and, handle uh, it. Yeah, and uh, they'll never miss a beat. They'll they, hear your voice. They, they just can't bury me in the turf. They, they, <laughs> they'll have to take me off to the side no. and get rid of me over there. And we're being silly about this but and making some jokes about it. But, yeah, well, you can tell Coach has lost a lot of weight. And yeah. you told us early on you're doing it by healthy eating, some exercise, yeah, just doing trying, it the right way. Yeah, trying to cut back, trying to do some things. Dr. Shaw got my attention pretty well. Uh, and, and so it, it, it was time to... Time to, to get back in a little bit better shape. Cause about you know my, my true goal is 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 to be uh, be two hundred by Thanksgiving because that way I can be two ten after Thanksgiving. So that, <laughs> I think that, we all do that. that that's where actually I want we to be. women we just wear stretchy pants. So at Thanksgiving and Christmas, see we get away with that. Yeah, you yeah. guys can do it. You got the sweats. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so before we go um, for a quick break, you have a special announcement. I do, yeah. T today is my dad's 60th birthday, and uh, I just I wanted to wish him a happy birthday and, and just thank him so much for, for being just, he, he, uh, nobody could ask for a better dad. And he is always, you know, he worked so hard for our family so that me and my brother could do things and, and, and be uh, be able to get the things and do the things that we needed to do and uh, because he's worked hard all his life it allowed us to uh, do the things that we want to do and get to where we want to be in life so uh, just happy birthday dad and I hope it's a great one. That's right and we'll end on that happy note but we'll be right back after this message. Thanks to our great sponsors Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond. Express Roofing, we've got you covered. ExpressRoofing.net. Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea. Luxury Pet Services in Richmond. Time Warner Cable. Equipment Sales and Rentals. Madison County Schools. Tatum Enterprises. And Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course watch all of our videos on YouTube. Hey everyone, my name's Alex and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. The following is in smokeless tobacco, cadmium, formaldehyde, lead, nicotine, nitrosamines, polonium-210, hydrazine, benzopyrene, and uranium-235. Don't be a dip. Don't dip. It's the Mark Center Show from the Jack Burford Chevrolet Studios in Richmond, Kentucky. Now with your host, 
Samantha Burford. Welcome back to the Coach Center Show. I'm Samantha Burford. We're here at Jack Burford Chevrolet. As I always say, we take over their customer service lounge. We do this after football practice in the evening or else there'd be all kinds of people in here mm -hmm. buying cars. And so, you know, we've got some three student athletes over there that we're gonna talk to a little later and we're, we're eavesdropping in on their conversation yeah. as they try to check out our conversations yeah, they're, too. Yeah, they're texting and carrying yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all, it, there's all kinds of digital media flying over there. I'm anxious to ask them about this coming Friday night and anxious to hear your thoughts again about, you know, your big game against Woodford County. Yeah, Woodford County's a really good team. Of course, a, a ton of excitement around their team right now. Uh, you got Jake, Drake Jackson, the uh, big UK recruit. He uh, he actually plays offensive tackle and a little bit of defensive line for them. Uh, mm -hmm. Although uh, the recruiting services have him listed as the number one center in the nation, uh, he is uh, he is uh, playing offensive tackle for them I read at least that right now. In the and, paper today, actually. And so he's uh, he's a really good player as well as uh, Seth Jost and. Uh, Sage Young, I believe, is the other one. Three, uh, three very legitimate Division One offensive mm -hmm. line recruits, which is which is unusual, I think, for anybody. But you know, having having three legit offensive line recruits in one class is, is a pretty big deal. And and of course, the the other thing that's got a lot of excitement going on around Woodford County is is Dennis Johnson being their head coach. Yes. And so uh, for local football fans, of course, they'll remember the heydays of Harrodsburg football and. Uh, Dennis's dad, Alvis Johnson, and his brother Derek, and Dennis coming through, and, and, and Harrisburg was going to the state championship at that time. And, and then uh, after Dennis went on and played at the University of Kentucky, uh, Coach Alvis was a, uh, I believe, assistant AD or something up there at the time. So, you know, they've got strong ties there. And, and so his dad and his brother are helping him now. That he's taking the head coaching job at Woodford County. And uh, so they've got a ton of excitement going on around their program. Uh, a uh, really impressive uh, turf facility that they're playing at up there mm -hmm. with a with a, uh, a field house looks like off the side and and you know they're 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 playing good hard nosed football mm -hmm. they're they're doing exactly what you would expect a team with uh, with three legit D one offensive right. line recruits they're running the football and and playing good good solid defense and and they're really really uh, you know look like that they're a, a team headed in the right direction so it'll be a much different team than the team you played last year even though those guys were there yeah I mean, I mean the, the the personality of the team seems different than, than the team last year of course uh, I, I knew coach Stonebreaker from years ago and he's a fantastic coach and has since moved on to Jefferson town and doing good things over there uh, but but you know it, it you can definitely see a different personality with the mm -hmm. Woodford County team and their kids and how they're how they appear to be approaching the game. You know, there, there's only so much you can gauge from film, but mm -hmm. you can gauge how, how kids seem to be carrying themselves and body language and, and things like that. And, and they're, they're definitely uh, definitely committed and bought into the brand of football that Coach Johnson mm -hmm. has brought with him. You played a few games in the rain, and they are calling for maybe a slight chance of showers Friday night. Of course, yeah. the weekend's gonna be beautiful, but Friday night is what matters. Yeah, do you guys do that. anything different? Well, we, you know, we we're a, we're a big team philosophy wise on running the football and and getting the ground game going. So no, I mean I can't say that we really do a whole lot different because of the weather. Uh, because of the weather, you know, we, you know, in fact, uh, you know, I, when I coached Coach Range years ago, he used to love to throw the ball in the rain. You know, a lot of people say that they don't throw it as much in the rain, or whatever. And Coach Range used to love to throw really? the ball in the rain. He felt like, you know, the turf fields have kind of changed things a little bit, yeah. but he always felt like the receiver had the advantage as long as the quarterback could grip the ball well and get it out. Yeah. You know, maybe not in a monsoon, but, you know, <laughs> it, it with he always felt like receivers had the advantage because they knew where they were going and the DB yeah. was having to adjust them so the receivers could get open easier. But, yeah, the monsoon but, was two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, we, we, <laughs> got, we got some of that for sure. Yeah. But, but uh, you know, we, you know, Zach seems to throw the ball well okay. uh, one way or the other, and as, you know, as, as as long as, long as our guys do our job, you know the 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 one thing about weather is, is the other team has to play in the exact same weather. You're right. You're absolutely right. Now we do definitely want to give a big shout out to the freshman team, to the yeah. JV team. They're on a roll. They're doing really well. Yeah, freshmen's doing a great job. They uh, improved to four and zero after a win up at Woodford County on Monday night. Uh, had had another big win there, and of course, uh, I, I guess uh, I can't remember if we've had a show since they beat Scott County or not. But uh, they beat Scott County 42-22 up at Georgetown. They played the game uh, at the Toyota Stadium, and and uh, was, was a real nice game. Uh, Coach McKee built up a real nice atmosphere around mm -hmm. a freshman game on a Monday night, so it was a big game, and and definitely had had a good night. And then and follow that up, and 
you know, they're going to keep battling. You know, week after week, they've got uh, a couple of huge games coming up. Henry Clay is undefeated in the freshman conference right now at 4-0. and so uh, that's definitely going to be a big game at our place here coming up in a few weeks. Is that two uh, weeks? That's, that's, uh, I can't three remember weeks. if that's two or three weeks down the line. Now, when your varsity team has a bye week, do the freshmen have a bye week as well? No, they'll be playing. Okay. They, yeah, they'll be playing on Monday night, the, okay. the, the week of our open week. They'll be playing, and, and, and JV team keeps battling. You know, uh, the the thing that we, we really talked about, and I'm really proud of our JV team, uh, that we, we uh, had a game canceled on us and actually got Lexington Catholic to pick up and come in oh. this past Monday night. So, uh, you know, I was I'm going to tell you, I was really proud of our JV team. Ended up getting beat 20 to six. They, the Les Cath put another touchdown on the board late. The game was six to six forever, and uh, and and I was really proud of our our young kids for how they competed. Because I'm telling you, our JV team competed at a completely different level than Until what our varsity end. team competed at the previous Friday <laughs> night. So, yeah, very so uh, I was really really proud of the effort that they put forth and. And uh, you know they've. I, I think we've got four consecutive home games coming up with them uh, over the next few weeks. And then, uh, and like I say, JV or freshman team. I'm sorry, has three out of four or, or four out of five remaining games uh, on their schedule going to be at mm -hmm. home. So a lot of Monday night football will be coming to our stadium over the next month mm -hmm. or so, and, and we're excited for that and excited that our home folks will get a chance to see these young guys play. Right. They're doing a great job. So this. Coming Friday night is Woodford County, then you have a bye week, mm -hmm. and then we roll into October. So and you guys do a play. little, yeah, district play, and you guys, we want to give a special shout out. They're going to wear, you know, the pink ribbon on their helmets. You yeah. said it's like last year. Lafayette game, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be putting the, the, the decal, the pink ribbon decal on the helmets and, mm -hmm. and uh, just, you know, kind of honoring. Uh, those, you know, and, 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 you know, while October has become Breast Cancer Awareness Month and has, has really, you know, uh, become a, a very pink month, if you want to call it that, you know, we we always try to remember within our squad that there are a lot of different forms uh, of cancer out there that yes. a lot of different people are battling. And, and while, you know, all all of the causes are, are worthwhile and, yes. and, and we'll, we'll definitely wear the pink ribbon to honor that. You know, we, uh, we our, our, our own coaching staff, our own families, and, and a lot of guys on our team have been touched uh, by the many forms of cancer. Mm -hmm. So we want to remember all of those things and make sure that we're doing, uh, you know, being cognizant of, of mm -hmm. helping folks uh, battle all of those different right. forms. Yes, because September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and that's yellow ribbons. And, you know, I'm sure players, parents, grandparents, somebody's always got a family member that has been touched by this deadly disease so yeah, unfortunately man yeah. it, it's it, it, it's touched us all in some way shape or form and and uh, you know just just makes you thankful uh, every really day does. that uh, for for the health that you're blessed with sure does now you we do want to give a nice praises to the three young men that are sitting over yeah. there and we can't wait to talk to them give us some scoop on them before well, we bring them in well you know and I say this, I, I hope I'm not being redundant, but, but you know, man, I love our seniors. We've got some really great guys in this class. And the, the best thing about our senior class when coaches are coming in to uh, ask about these young men and inquire about these young men, the, the, the best thing is, is that I can say right away what good young men they are and what good student athletes they are mm -hmm. and, and their, their grades are outstanding. Uh, you know, and each one of them, I mean, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, they've got jobs on the outside. They're, you know, they're not just football players and they come to school and then they, you know, all that stuff. And they, they are true student athletes. They take care of their studies. They take care of their jobs and things that they have to do outside of school. And they play pretty good football. Despite what last week said, they, 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 they uh, we, when we get our head on straight, we play pretty good brand of football as well. Right. And these guys over here are good ones. Uh, Patrick Sullivan is a senior linebacker and H-back for us, and uh, he's, he does an outstanding job, another highly intelligent young man, uh, a lot of AP classes. Uh, I believe he, he's, he's a 3.8 GPA, 3.9 GPA, well up there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Dante Altamirano uh, is uh, been a starting cornerback for us, kind of emerged last year as a starting cornerback, and, and uh, really has done a good job in, in that aspect. Uh, he also rotates in our wide receiver rotation. Uh, another good, strong athlete, 3.0 average, and good, strong ACT. And then Lawrence Lee, uh, number 23, uh, he, he's been doing a great job, particularly in our screen game of late. 
Uh, he's also a guy that has the, a, a lot of athletic ability and will probably in the coming weeks be seeing the field more defensively, uh, some of that due to the loss of Blake. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we're going to have to utilize his athletic ability more uh, than just the wide receiver spot that he's been running, so he's probably going to see the field some more. You know, and again, you're talking about a kid. Uh, he was up on a on a college visit to Moorhead here last weekend, and got a, about a 3.4 GPA and and a good solid ACT score. Going to take it again, I'm thinking in December. And you know, these these young men are are very good representatives of Madison Central Football right. Program. Right. I know you got to be super proud of them. I mean, yeah. you've been with them now mm -hmm. two years. It's crazy how it's like a big family, isn't it? Well, and, and it is. You see and, them grow. Time, time goes by so fast. Yes. You know, and, and, and it's just, you know, from a physical standpoint, from a mental standpoint, watching these guys, how much they've grown in the last, you know, 12, 18 months mm -hmm. has been incredible. And just, again, I mean, here we are, you know, by the time this show airs, we'll be a day away from playing our sixth ball game of the year. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't. A, a minute ago that you and I were sitting here talking about the weight program and the offseason right. program and, and right. sp how did the spring game go and all right. those things and I mean so it, it just flies and, right. and that, that, that's you know kind of the nature of things with uh, you know we, we look forward we live Friday night to Friday night you know and, and once one Friday night's mm -hmm. over you start planning for the next Friday night and our kids kind of get in that same thing but yeah it, it, it goes way too fast so uh, you know we have to enjoy the ride just a little mm -hmm. bit, and uh, and we'll uh, we, once we get another win under our belt, we'll enjoy the ride. Yeah, it'll feel more. a little bit better. And you had a few few homecoming candidates, you know, yep. for running for the king position. None yeah. of the football players won, but yeah. you know, it's it's just an incredible accolade to say that you have all those football players that you know are representing Madison Central. Absolutely, well, and, and as big as our senior class is, and as many. Uh, kids were on the original ballot. You had to have five or six guys from the football team mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, the final vote. Mm -hmm. There it was pretty pretty special, yeah. and, it, and it shows that that our guys are are well liked among yes. their peers. I agree. I agree. All right, coach. Anything else before we wrap it up and bring in the yeah. seniors? Yeah, no. Just thanks to everybody, and a, a, a real quick special thank you. Obviously, you know. Uh, our student section has been doing a great job at the home games and things like that, and and uh, you know we hope to take a great great bunch with us. We got the, the big game at Woodford this week, mm -hmm. the open week, and then uh, and then a huge huge district opener at, at Tate's Creek uh, the week after we come back. We really need to take a big crowd up to Tate's Creek mm -hmm. for that, and and just thank you so much to all the folks. We have have had such a good turnout with our wind time program that, that is on Thursday night, which is a Thursday night meal uh, for our kids that, that we've had uh, a lot of local churches be involved in mm -hmm. and several more coming. We, we thank them so much for, for their involvement and them uh, taking care of our kids and loving on our kids. And, and thank you so much to the businesses who have stepped up and helped us out with pregame meals. Uh, we, that's just been incredible. Yeah, it's important. It's huge. you got to it, feed these it, men. It, it's huge to our program. Team Especially, bonding, it's imp very important. Yeah, yeah, we've talked about it before. You know, we, we're 50 plus in the freshman program and, mm -hmm. and then another 70 plus on varsity. There's a lot of guys that, that, that benefit from that. A lot of young men directly benefit from this support and it's right. huge for our program. Right. All right, Coach, it's going to be a while before we actually sit down face to face. So mm -hmm. it's definitely going to be, what, three weeks? Yep. Three, Because we typically do these shows after a home game. But if you... You know, if you get some big wins, maybe we'll call you up and say, Coach, we got to get you back in here. We can't wait for more weeks. That's just fine with me. Let's get those wins first and we'll That's do right. whatever we need to do. That's right. All right. Don't go anywhere because when we come right back, we'll have three student athletes, big seniors, sitting in the hot seat. We'll be right back. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond. Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond. Express Roofing, we've got you covered. ExpressRoofing.net. Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea. Luxury Pet Services in Richmond. Time Warner Cable. Equipment Sales and Rentals. Madison County Schools. Tatum Enterprises. And Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, 
Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. the Mark Center Show from the Jack Burford Chevrolet Studios in Richmond, Kentucky. Now with your host, Samantha Burford. Welcome back to the Madison County School Sports Television. I'm Samantha Burford. We just spoke with Coach Mark Centers, and now we've got three senior athletes for Madison Central, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves to you. All right. Dante Altamirano, number seven, I play corner and receiver. My name's uh, Patrick Sullivan, number 31, and I play H-back and linebacker. All right. My name's Lawrence Lee, number 23, receiver and corner. Now, Coach just mentioned not too long ago during our interview that after Blake Gross just got injured, you may have to start playing in some different positions. What are your thoughts on that? I'm, I'm pretty hype about it. Like, are anything I can do to help the team, you know, yeah. like I'm willing to do. Um, we also got, like, um, other players – stepping in that spot too so I'm not by myself but right if if need be I'll be in there right well that's good do you guys have any um collegiate aspirations to you know to play college football somewhere yes ma'am yes I'm looking at a couple of schools they're d3 and then I have a, a school f a couple of schools from up in Massachusetts a D1 and NAIA schools and a couple more schools here right. in Kentucky. Oh, that's a long ways away up in yeah. Massachusetts. Your mom's probably like, no, <laughs> yeah, don't go there. They invited us for a trip, but that's too far. It is yeah. far. That is really far. And how about you? Uh, I haven't really been into the whole collegiate football thing, but okay. I do want to go to college. That's definitely something that I want to do. But All right. I mean, I guess anything can happen, so we'll just, we'll just have to Play see. It. Yeah, absolutely. No, I completely understand. What about you? Uh, I am currently looking at Moorhead State and Lindsey Wilson. I actually have a visit to Cumberland this coming weekend, and okay. next month I'll be going to Loyola in Maryland for a football visit. So, yeah, I definitely, I definitely want to go play you football. Do. All right, Coach says you guys are super smart. Did you hear him? He was rattling off your ACTs oh, yeah. and your grades. Do you think he checks on you like every week? Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. You yeah. actually have a grade check tomorrow. Yeah. You do. Yeah. So wait, when you say that, what does that mean? What does he do? If you ain't, if your grades aren't up to his like the standard that he sets at a yeah. seventy five, you've got a grass drill for every point under. So every, every point under. So it, it keeps you in, in check. A grass drill. Yes, ma'am. Right. So what you said? Yes, ma'am. So explain to us that doesn't know what that means. It's kind of just like you got to chop your feet and like you you got to hit your chest on the ground. And you just got to dive on the ground and then get back get up back and up. keep doing it. So that just not easy. No, it's so not it's easy. like okay, I got to study. Yeah. So that I don't have to do this. Exactly. It's not really punishment, but it is making you a stronger football player. Yeah. It's, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a drill you don't really want yeah, to do. No one likes to do. No, stress. that's my point. Nobody likes to do those drills, do they? No man. Those aren't fun. All right, what else do we need to talk about? Do you guys have a favorite play? No, it's probably not against Lexington Catholic. But do you have, you know, the first three games, you guys had great games. So yeah. do you have anything that's really been exciting this season that you're looking forward to postseason? Uh, I am an interception, so I'm just trying to get more. Yeah. It's exciting and brings the team morale up. Yeah. Game. Anything? Um, I think you're the team cheerleader. Are you the big cheerleader? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Do we I need mean, to get you some pom poms? I probably, uh. I'm probably hype a lot, but yeah, chili is kind of, kind of gone over a little bit. But <laughs> I, I hear you down there on the sidelines at halftime. I do yell a lot. He's, He's always talking. Yeah. yeah, but it's, it's nothing bad when we say, you know, we hear him talking. It's, it's always motivational. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I try to keep the sideline up, so it keeps our team up. So. That works sometimes. Yeah, so, yeah, we, you know, the cheerleaders are going to grab you and pull you over there with them. And That'd be fun. Not that that would that be bad. Fun. I'm not saying that's <laughs> bad. I'm just saying, you know, you do a good job at I, it I, is I, what I'm – my point. I get you. Yeah. I think my favorite play, though, is um, – I'm pretty sure it was against Wayne County. Okay. And uh, there was this, this block I had. I think it was right off the gate – corner was pressing shoved him down just right away shoved and you'll him remember down. that and I just just remember staring at him when he was just on the ground and this coach was like 
ref, throw the flag. And I was like, I didn't touch him again. Yeah. Yeah, I was laughing. It was funny. I came off the sideline and laughed with coach. You did? I was like, coach did. They're not, they're not strong at all. I think it was like. And you thought we're going to win this game easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought we were going to stomp them. Yeah. What about you? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, favorite play? Not even if it was last year. Do you have anything? As far as being seniors, I mean, do you guys have any, um, are you, you know, getting sentimental about anything? Are you like, okay, we got to keep this program going Oh yeah, in it's, postseason? It seems like just like yesterday, it, we were freshmen, like it, it's flying by way too fast. It doesn't feel like I should be a senior at all. Right. It doesn't feel like we've been doing this for four years. It doesn't. Oh, no. Yeah, and you guys have probably it. been playing together longer than four years. Truly, you guys probably grew up playing, even if it wasn't football, baseball, or soccer, you know, growing up mm -hmm. together. Since middle school. Yeah, me and Dante, we've been playing for uh, Six, seven, seven, seven years. Yeah, oh, wow. So I moved seven years. right out of here, fifth grade, so I didn't get to play with any of them. Yeah. I didn't get to play with none of my brothers, I call, I, that I actually, you know, I actually get to play with. I don't get to play with any of them in middle yeah. school, but I got to play with them now. I wish I could have in middle school. Yeah. In middle school I went to. Oh, we were awful. We were awful. We were god awful. I'm telling you. Hey, but that makes you appreciate the wins even more, yeah, right? Absolutely. And having such a big team. What do you guys think about this season as far as being seniors and leaders of the team? What are you doing different as a senior that's, you know, trying to motivate this team? You definitely got to step up and always work hard. Like, make sure you set an example for everybody. You can't ever slack, slack yeah. off, not do something right. You got to always be giving your best. Yeah. That's, that's, I think that's one of the best ways. To you lead. have to encourage the younger kids that you know come out here, to be on the scout team, make a big play. Yeah. Then you're gonna get noticed, and then you're gonna, you're gonna end up playing on yeah. Fridays. Yeah, I think it's Coach Miller that says something like this. I don't mean to get this wrong. If I do. If he watches this, uh, oh, he'll he be says, watching. He oh. says something like, um, "If I ever go to practice and I didn't coach like the day before, you know I'm giving up. Pretty much, you gotta literally give your all every day, or you know I'm quitting, and I ain't quitting right. for nobody. So I'm giving my all every day. I think that's what you gotta do. You just come out there and give 110, and show the, and show the young kids that that's what you gotta do to mm -hmm. show, to be seen on the field. I feel like that's the most important thing." What do you think about this freshman team? They're four now. You got to be excited to athletes. see them coming in. Yeah, All they're athletes. Well. They're too athletic for anybody in that in that division. Yeah. And on their schedule, they're too athletic. Even that's when you guys are gone to college, you guys are going to be coming back. Going, oh, oh my gosh, we got to watch them, especially when those guys are seniors. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Definitely. you'll be like, okay, I got to come home for homecoming. Oh yeah. I want to see that game. Yeah. 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 That's be All right. Fun. So, you know, it's always a big crosstown rivalry against Southern. What are your thoughts on that? I just think we can't underestimate them just because they lost one big player. And yeah. usually it wasn't just him, it was a team effort. Yeah. So I think we still have to have the same focus as we did when he was still there and performing yeah. to our You're potential. right. You're right. They lost last week, too. So. I mean, it seems like the playing field could be pretty level, mm -hmm. right? Don't you think? What so is it's that to give it our all and, you know, play the way we, we can play. play. Yeah. Play the hardest that we can. And this year it's on your turf. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's going to be fun, That'll be our last game in the regular season as a senior, right. so we're trying to come out with mm -hmm. the win. Yeah. yeah. We usually got to play all four quarters. That's, that's key. Play all four quarters aggressive. Just hit them every snap. Hit them, make a play. Right. They'll, they'll lay down eventually. They might not lay down right out the gate, but they'll lay down eventually. Do so you guys that. have anything else you want to talk about? You want to say hi to any family members or anybody? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, they're blushing. So, now, How about superstitions? You guys got any superstitions that you do prior to each game or practice? Uh, as a team-wise, we usually pray before we leave the game. But okay. individually, I kind of just listen to my music, get in the zone, and get ready to play. Okay. Always got to keep the uh, not pregame meals. We always try and keep the same people sitting in the same seats before yeah, games. Yeah, that's I don't know game. what it is, yeah, but we I stay just stay around the same circle of people. Type, yeah, like stay in the stay in the same zone. You know, like cause every week. There's a every week. Yeah, we all try not to change anything. Even ever. on Thursday night during dinner, or yeah, even on Thursday night during win time. Uh, what would you do if somebody said, no, I'm coming over there? We, we kind of yeah. say, it's, yeah. yeah. It's kind of routine. It's not routine. We just like, oh, 
control. This yeah, is I what know. we've been doing. This is this we is. We got to keep it that do way. Do seniors sit in a certain section and yeah, are you no, by? I, I mean, not it's really. all a mixture. No, okay. Yeah, no. It's not. Trying to figure you guys out. There's a fly. <laughs> yeah. We don't want the fly in here. Yeah, Bob and Weave the fly. Yeah, but he's bobbing and weaving. You guys have been a lot of fun. We really do appreciate you guys coming in, taking time out, because, I mean, you really should be studying, right? As smart as you guys are. I, we got yeah. some homework, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I homework. actually don't have any homework. You do? How do you, you manage it all? Because Coach even said some of you have jobs. I mean, it's got to be challenging. Well, it usually, is. Yeah, my, my manager usually works with me, and he, he only gives me, like, a couple of days to work. I usually work on the weekends only, and you I do? have like a three-hour shift once a week. Right. And during the week, and then I just go home and do my homework. Yeah. Good time you. management skills. Yeah. It definitely keeps you busy, but I mean, there's nothing else to be doing. You don't need to get in trouble. So it's definitely good to be doing. Because if you get in trouble, then you can't, you can't play, play football. football. Play. <laughs> you can't play right. football, and what else are you gonna do? See, I don't have a job, so all I got is school and football. So. So you go home and study. Yeah. You're supposed to say yes. Yes, you do. Yes. I'd say yeah. yes. But I mean, usually I, I actually ask the teacher if I need help so I can get it done earlier so I don't really have to stress a lot right. of work when I go home. So when you go home, what do you do? Video games? Watch nah, TV? Watch football? Down. Eat, if there's, shower, any, if there's any homework, football. sleep. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm, sh I'm surprised that all, all weekend you guys aren't sitting in front of the TV Saturday, oh, no, college sleep, football, sleep. Sunday, NFL. Unless I have a visit and I'm getting up early and yeah. taking off. Or I Thursday nights. Thursday yeah. nights. Some of us usually try to get together on the weekends, like hang out. Right. Because we, we have this like family policy, like we're all one family, so why not act like one, you know? Mm -hmm. On and off the on field. On and off, I love it. Well, thank you guys very much. It's a pleasure to have you guys here. And we love having you guys because, I mean, it's just an honor to be in your presence. And, and we really appreciate you guys being with us and explaining how certain things work. And especially to a lot of us that, you know, I think it's kind of fun to know that you guys sit in certain seats <laughs> for dinner. So a lot of us didn't know that. So I think it's great. All right. Good luck to you guys. We won't... Um, have Coach Sinners back for a few more weeks, but you guys are always welcome. You just come on in to any show. If he doesn't say yes, just come on, say yes. <laughs> so we can come join that you any show, right. Coach. You can sit over there and make faces, all right? That sounds good. <laughs> all right, all right. Thanks for watching the Coach Center show, and for Madison County School Sports Television, I'm Samantha Burford. Thanks to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet in Richmond, Jerry Goble and State Farm Insurance, Richmond. Express Roofing, we've got you covered. ExpressRoofing.net. Cumberland Valley National Bank in Richmond and Berea. Luxury Pet Services in Richmond. Time Warner Cable. Equipment Sales and Rentals. Madison County Schools. Tatum Enterprises. And Real Life Community Church, MyRealChurch.org. We want to be sure and thank our fine sponsors, Berea Online, First Gear, WKYT.com, and the Colonel Sports Card Shop. A shout out to another great sponsor, Journey Auto and Boat Sales in Richmond. And welcome to another great sponsor, Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, Chris Hornsby in Highland Park. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course watch all of our videos on YouTube. Hey everyone, my name's Alex and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. The following is in smokeless tobacco, cadmium, formaldehyde, lead, nicotine, nitrosamines, polonium-210, hydrazine, benzopyrene, and uranium-235. Don't be a dip. Don't dip.